The rock cycle begins when magma in the mantle rises and pushes into the crust. This magma cools and hardens slowly underground to form granite. This allows large quartz crystals to form. Granite is an intrusive or plutonic igneous rock. Overlying layers of rock can be weathered and eroded to expose the granite at the surface. Magma may also break through the crust to the surface as lava. This leads to the formation of volcanoes, mid-ocean ridges and new sea floor. This lava cools quickly to form basalt. Because basalt forms on the Earth's surface, it is known as an extrusive or volcanic igneous rock. On rare occasions, some lava may harden into hexagonal shaped columns of rock, such as at the Giant's Causeway in County Antrim. Rock can be broken down by weathering and erosion, by rain, water, wind, ice, rivers and the sea. Weathered and eroded rock sediments can then be transported by rivers. The sediment is then deposited in lake beds and on the sea floor. As the layers of sediment are compacted and compressed, they form strata or layers to form sandstone. The remains of sea creatures sink to the ocean floor. These are compacted and cemented in layers of rock or strata to form limestone. Metamorphic rocks are rocks that have been changed by heat and pressure. Heat from the mantle or nearby volcanic activity can change rocks in the crust. Plate movements and folding can also form metamorphic rocks due to the increased pressure. Limestone can become marble and sandstone can become quartzite. To complete the cycle, subduction can then cause melting or recycling of rock back into magma.